There's a strong relationship between urban form and energy and light because if you imagine a very dense urban form means that it's harder for light to get down into the streets and into the adjacent buildings. Um, a more open form makes that easier. And so looking at the shape of our city uh, will, will influence the availability of natural light. Also other things that influence energy. Natural light is one of the key ways of saving energy. But the challenge is that we want to create uh, denser, more compact cities so that our cities don't spread um, and, and more mixed use and more dynamic and more exciting for people to be in. But equally we don't want to make those cities very dark and uh, uninviting. Um, and so the challenge is what kind of geometries give you the best densities and give you uh, good, good natural light into the buildings. And we found some interesting relationships. So rather than saying all buildings must be a certain height and a certain spacing apart, if you actually say, if there's some variation in height and some variation in spaces, like we find in, in Copenhagen or in, in, in many medieval cities, for example, that variation is actually a very positive contribution to uh, the emittance of natural light and of sunlight. And so you can find ways of shaping our cities and manipulating pieces of our cities to improve uh, the density at the same time as improving natural light.